Hey, I'm Namisha, aka Nimitz Beatbox, and I'm a beatboxer. <laughs> Beatboxing might look complicated, but it's actually something that you can learn. So let me break it down for you. So I'm going to walk you through three basic beatboxing sounds. They are the kick drum, the closed hi-hat, and the case snare. Starting with the kick drum, this is kind of like the core, the heart of a lot of beats that you hear. The kick drum sounds like this. To make this sound, you're going to Bring your lips together in like a P or a B position, but you're gonna press them together a little bit tighter. You're going to force a little bit of air out of your throat and quickly release. So B, 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 P, P, P. As you do that, you can sort of hear like a little bit of like a punchiness to it. And you really wanna focus in on that and that feeling that you get on your lips. So kind of press it together tighter and really try to tighten up that sound. So And with enough practice, um, instead of like focusing on pushing the air out, start focusing more on putting your lips together and pressing down while the air is going out. And eventually you'll get to something that sounds a bit more like a drum. So. The second sound is the closed hi-hat. So this sound is actually pretty similar to like a T or a TS kind of sound. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna take the tip of your tongue and put it right behind your front teeth and then sort of do like a T, 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 T. And then take again, you wanna stop actually saying the letter, but keep doing everything that your mouth is doing. So T. And if you want to check whether or not you've actually stopped saying the letter, you can actually just put your hand right near your throat and feel whether or not it's vibrating. When you're saying the T, 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 t you'll feel a little vibration here. When you stop saying it, t, 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 this won't be vibrating anymore. You can also, there's slight variations on the closed hi-hat. So you have like the tip of your tongue, like the top part of the tip of your tongue, and then like the tip tip of your tongue. So you're gonna get a cleaner sound if instead of using this top part, you actually use the tip tip and roll it back a little. So t -t -t versus t -t -t -t. they sound similar, but it's a little bit easier to control the second one. The third sound is the K snare. So what you wanna do is think of like a K sound. And you're basically going to do like a really hard breathy K. So K, K. If you want to tighten it up a little, focus on the back of your tongue and sort of get that part close to the top of your mouth and make it just like a little bit tighter and then you can get to something that's a little bit less breathy. So instead of you could go to Now that you kind of have an idea about these three sounds, you can make a beat. And the way that you're going to make a beat is to just sort of string them together in a sequence. Now, a very common beginner beat that a lot of people might know is boots and cats. So you sort of say boots and cats back to back, but you say it rhythmically and, you know, try saying it a little bit breathier. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats, boots and cats. Eventually with enough practice, you could get these sounds to sound cleaner, get a little bit more control over the rhythm. So you could go from something that sounds like to something that sounds like So again, those are the three sounds, the kick drum, the closed hi-hat, and the case snare. Now you can mix these up in different ways to put them together in a beat. So we did boots and cats. And you can mix them up in different ways. And the most important thing is, don't forget the rhythm. Always hit that downbeat. I hope this was helpful and I can't wait to see what you create. Now go have some fun.